What's up everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and hit the notification bell. So we're going to have a conversation, and this is going to be a little bit of a continuation from my previous conversation where I was discussing the interview where Arion Kyrie was interviewed on Unwind with Tasha K by Tasha K and how she was trying to come for Oprah and calling out the other cast members and saying that her likeness has been used and she's just tired of it. Well, as I said in my previous conversation, I didn't really watch the entire season of the first season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. So what I saw of the show, it seemed interesting to me, but just like most shows in the beginning, similar to these types, you don't really know what you're gonna get. And I wasn't sure if it was something that I really wanted to invest my time in. So I didn't, and then it was also, it was coming on on Saturday nights. So it was just one of those things where it was like, am I sitting in and watching this or not? And so I would see clips of things and it did intrigue me. And I was also a little bit interested because I, I've been to Huntsville here and there um, over uh, a few years ago. So it was just kind of interesting, even in that aspect of like, oh, I'm familiar with this town. I don't really know it that well. And I didn't know any of the people, but it's like, wow, you know, it's a place that I've been several times. It's kind of cool that they have a show in the city. But I decided after watching the interview, I said, you know what? I'm going to binge watch the first season on the own app. And so I did recently. And after watching these episodes and just seeing how Martell was with Melody, not so much the negative parts of him and how he treated his wife, because we all know how that, you know, how that ended and she wound up finally filing for a divorce. Of course, after having another baby with him. But here's the thing. Arion, she did this interview with Tasha K. And she's just talking about, she's tired of her image being used, her likeness, and they've used her as their storyline and not just Melody and um, Martell. And again, she wasn't really calling out Martell, but she was calling out Melody and the other couples on the show and saying that they've been using her likeness. That's the term she kept using. I'm tired of my likeness. I'm tired of it, Tasha. I'm tired of it. And it was like, your likeness was never used on the show. I never saw a photo of her, a video clip of her. Only once did we even hear her voice and that was in this most recent season. And it's because they played a portion of a phone call where he had her on speaker while he was driving in the car. And he said that he was gonna need a DNA test because at the time she was pregnant. So she takes the time to have this interview with Tasha K, and I just feel she made herself look a whole lot worse than what most people already thought of her, except for the thirsty people out there who are getting on. If she's doing a live video on Instagram and they want to join the video, then they're coming on there and they're pretty much praising this girl. And that's just disgusting for anyone who thinks that way and thinks that this girl deserves to capitalize off of being in a relationship with a married man and and having a baby with a married man whether their household was happy or not you are disgusting and despicable and honor has no meaning to people anymore so many people are just all about getting the bag getting you know getting your bag capitalizing off of the moment use this to make your money get your bag like what honor doesn't exist for most people anymore it is just all about what you can get from the moment and i don't think she deserves to earn anything off of what she has done and i don't care about melody making music i feel like she has the right to do that Am I sitting here caping for Melody or a fan of hers? No, absolutely not. I'm not a fan of anyone 
Are there some people that I prefer over others? Absolutely. But I don't fan and definitely I don't stand for anyone because I don't worship anyone. They're all people just like I am. They put their pants on the same way I do, one leg at a time, okay? So those who think that Melody is tired and she needs to stop whining and talk like this woman when I watched this first season as much as yeah she's not perfect and I'm not saying that she is no one is but as much as people say that she can be cold-hearted and manipulative and and this and that the and the other I see her as a strategic business woman. When I saw her going to the meetings on the show, like that stuff was real to me. And that's why I believe that the seasons there after the first season, it was focused more on the drama aspect versus the business of the comeback group and the, the ventures that they were trying to make to do these you know, home building projects and things like that as the comeback group. That for the network and for the ratings, for the sake of the ratings, they didn't really wanna focus on their businesses as much as they really wanted to focus on the drama. So the drama of Martel and Melody's relationship being rocky and Melody deciding, am I gonna stay in this marriage and try to make it work? Or am I gonna file for divorce? And oh my God, I'm pregnant again and we're having another baby. Maurice and Kimmy with his issues with his ex-wife and the child that he had, you know, the child that he had from his previous marriage and Kimmy and, you know, does she want to deal with the, you know, the situation of being called a side chick when she was never a side chick. And then Tisha and Marceau, is Marceau really cheating on Tisha? Is Tisha just insecure? Is she just you know, um, whiny and a, and a baby and all this other stuff like that. It's the type of stuff that people were watching more than the businesses of what Marcel and Tisha built together with their champagne and the black cigar lounges and the other business ventures that they were working on in commercial real estate. Marcel being an attorney and having a credit repair business and then Melody having, you know, the home building projects and being in real estate and, and Martel um, building homes, even though he doesn't have a builder's license. <laughs> okay. Like the love and marriage Huntsville, those are real things with regards to these people. And that's what they sold the show on, but it's a reality show. So we know that the, the MO of the reality shows that continue to get the seasons renewed season after season is there have to, be, there has to be some spiciness and some drama. So they weren't going to focus on that so much. So with, this girl thinking that the show is focusing on her. They weren't just focusing on her. That's just a part of their life. So Melody had the right to, if she wanted to make songs about the situation because she always wanted to do that. And now she has the opportunity to do it. And she's also an executive producer of the show. So why are they going to allow her to be on the show? But here's the thing that I really wanted to just talk about in this conversation. I feel that Martel was the one that really put Arion up to doing this interview. Because think about it, in the interview, she's pretty much doing the things that Martel likes to do, which is throw under other people under the bus. Because Martel is the consummate victim, narcissistic a-hole who just really feels that Everyone else is doing everything that he's doing wrong and he's not the only one. So when he was on the show and he would try to say, well, you know, you all, you all have been cheating on your um, women and you've been with a bunch of other people. He was throwing them under the bus, whether it was true or not. I don't know. I don't doubt it, but I'm just saying he was trying to throw them under the bus and then he would say negative things about Melody and, and all of these different things that he was doing. He's spoken negative about pretty much everyone that is on this show, Martel has. And Arion not being on the show and Tasha Kay, I don't believe really wants to interview Martel. If she did, I would, <laughs> I would, I would listen to it. I really wouldn't want to hear him speaking because he's just one of those people that he doesn't take responsibility to, for anything for his actions so it's just hard to listen to someone like that it really is it's like 
Donald Trump, Kanye West, uh, these people, they're just really hard to listen to when they speak because they're just extremely narcissistic. And everything is always about them in a positive way. And then if anything is negative, then it's everyone else too. Or it's everyone else and not them. So anyway, Ariane, she's revealing sensitive information that Melody did not reveal. And we don't know if it's true or not. But she comes out and says, Melody had an abortion. Melody slept with the divorce attorney. Who is she to be revealing this information? She came to do an interview with Tasha K. So shouldn't it really be about her? I believe she's a liar because she said that he, he didn't sleep with her until like nine months later. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. She's like, yeah, he thought he was going to take me to the hotel the same night. But we didn't sleep together until about eight or nine months later. Bull crap please i really do not believe that i do not believe that i believe even if it wasn't the first night he hit it very soon and was able to hit it very often and that's why he kept coming back she never said anything negative about martel in this interview she never said anything negative about him in actuality she was speaking positive about him tasha k called him with this piece of shit ass man sorry martel it is what it is and then she laughs and she's like, no, you know, he, he looks good and, you know, he's attractive and he's a good man. Everything about Martel was positive. She didn't say anything about Martel calling her a peasant. She didn't say anything about Martel declaring his love for his wife, getting his wife pregnant again, wanting to stay in the home, not wanting to leave. Like, these are the things that I saw when I was watching this first season over again. Like, he... She was really done with him then, and I could I could really tell. And for those who think negatively of her trying to make it work, unless you've been in a marriage and have been with someone for many, many years, and you have multiple children with this person, it's not as easy to just walk away immediately. I'm not saying it's impossible to do it, but it's not as easy. And she eventually has done that. But when she was trying to, for the sake of his feelings and when he hurt his I think it was Achilles tendon or something um happened when he was playing flag football it was during a time where she was dealing with knowing that he was unfaithful to her and so I don't believe that she was being cold-hearted when she let him know at that moment while he was laying up in the hospital bed waiting to get anesthesia or whatever so that he could have the surgery that he and she needed to take a break and and separate. In his in his selfishness, I, I don't want to. I don't want to speak to you right now. We're you're we're not friends anymore. What? Who cares about being your friend at this point? Because you've been unfaithful to me over and over again. I don't really care about your friendship. I don't really care. And that's how she felt. But she still was there for him and still was doing things as a wife. You know, in a wifely role, as you know, as they say. But she still was just like, you know, I'm done. And so they were sharing the house. He was staying upstairs. She was staying downstairs. He was coming in the room saying, I love you. And, you know, what are you going to wear for the photo shoot? Are we going to coordinate our outfits? And like that's like that's real very selfish of him of course because he's just think still thinking about himself. And then when she wound up, you know, being pregnant again he's trying to put it on God and saying, well, you know, maybe this is a sign from God for us. You know, we really need to try to make this work. I believe Arion and Martel were in on it together to do that interview because again, she was calling out things that Melody has done. And she also was calling out the other couples saying that the men have been cheating on them and this and that and the other. These are things that Martel has said about the guys when he was on the show and they just kind of shut it down. So I feel that she and he were in on them doing this interview together. Not saying she made any money from it because she didn't, but of course she's gotten a lot of views. She's getting more views. I believe that they're in on it together and I don't believe her when she says that they're not together. I do believe that they are still together. Is he faithful to her? No. But I do believe that they are still together. I believe that Martel and she 
or in on her getting this interview together. I really do. Because after again watching this first season and hearing the things that she has said in this interview, she was trashing Melody. She was trashing the other people. She never once said anything negative about Martel. And the only person that she really should have venom for is Martel. Because yeah, she says that, well, I'm not married and I was not in their household. But again, like I said, you may not have been in their household, but her husband was inside of you. You were extremely disrespectful. And even if you didn't know immediately that he was married, when you found out you had a responsibility to break away. And I don't care when people say, well, it's not as easy and then feelings already get involved and things like that. That's why you shouldn't just be sleeping with people just like that. Do people do background checks? Like these days, I feel like people should, but that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, when you found out you had a responsibility to do the right thing and you chose not to, and people can say all day long, well, she wasn't married. She doesn't owe Melody anything. It's not her fault. She needs, Melody needs to take it out with her man. She did. She did and she filed for divorce and she got divorced. And I don't believe her when she says that she, she's making it seem like she and Melody were having discussions a lot and and Melody, you know, almost trying to make it seem like Melody was cool with her being with her husband. No, I don't believe that. Have they had conversations and Melody was civil about it? Probably, because Melody does strike me as that type in a way, not saying she can't get hot-headed and, and argue and things like that, but I do believe that Melody, maybe for the sake of peace, if they had conversations, she was just like, well, look, you have my number, you know, you can reach out to me or blah, 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 but not in a, like we're friends or we're cool or you, you know, we're girls sort of thing and let's hang out and have drinks, you know, when you're available. No, I just believe that Melody was trying to be civil because she proved that when she was dealing with this, with, with this bastard after he hurt himself, like she didn't kick him out and say, I don't care, go to your mama's house and let her take care of you, which is, I honestly probably would have done that because his mom has coddled him and a, a, a large reason as to why he treats people the way that he does it's 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 uh it's a done deal now he's not a kid anymore he can't be raised you can't raise a man but i'm just saying after watching binge watching this first season and just hearing the things that she has said throwing the other people on the show especially the men under the bus and saying how Melody slept with the divorce lawyer and how she had an abortion and, and Melody did this and Melody did that. Who really sent you to do this interview? I believe that she and Martel were in on it together. Those are just my thoughts. I, I mean, it just hit different when I heard her, especially when I heard her say that she slept with the divorce attorney what business was it of hers to tell that to anyone she wants this woman to look bad and she is really upset that melody is winning and like i said before there is reaping and sowing you reap what you sow when you sow seeds that are negative you will reap a negative harvest at some point for many people it's not immediately and it's not even quickly but, you know, Arion, she deserves everything negative that may come her way because of the seeds that she has sown. And some people may say, well, it's not her fault. When you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. When she knew that he was married, she had a responsibility to break away and she didn't do that. And now she's like standing 10 toes down in it and she wants to capitalize off of the moment. What is wrong with people these days? You want to capitalize off of being a mistress, a homewrecker, a whore, a, you know, so many other things that we could call her. But, you know, there are some people that are encouraging it, but that speaks to their characters, which a lot of people don't have much of these days. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Martel and Arion were in on it together? Just based on what she shared in that interview and how she was just coming for everyone except Martel? 
that leads me to believe that he was the one that said, yeah, do the interview. And as a matter of fact, say this, that, and the third. And, and that's my thoughts. That's what I think. And so you let me know yours in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest.